Hello friends, today we're making Chef Dr. Margie's Mediterranean Chips. Welcome to Real Food, Real Medicine, where Chef Dr. Margie empowers you to better health through real food, to your health and wealth. We're gonna be using two pounds of russet potatoes. I like to measure mine because then that way I can get a better calorie count for the nutrition info that I'm offering at the end of the video. And I use the Pampered Chef Digital Kitchen Scale. So let's see how much these potatoes weigh. 32.13 ounces, which is basically two pounds. We're going to be slicing these with a rapid prep mandolin. You'll set the top knob to slice and the slice thickness will be one, which is almost the lowest it'll go. It does go to zero, but that would be too thin for our purposes today. And this mandolin is great because all the blades are inside and you don't have to worry about safety with it. You see here this approximate thinness of these slices, okay? And you get the idea on this. Now we'll put them in the bowl and rinse off as much starch as we can. We've, we're putting them in a bowl of cold water. And you can feel when you're putting them in there that they feel kind of slimy. That's the starch on them. And you can see how much is left on the container. And we're just getting started. Move this out of the way and we'll rinse them. Massage them a little bit, get that off of there. And we're gonna do this several times until the water comes clear on the potatoes. Strain them in the colander. Put some fresh water in here. And like I said, it'll take about two to three times of doing this, maybe three times to get as much starch as you can off of the potatoes. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to dry them on some paper towels and then we'll get them going in the microwave. We're going to microwave these chips. There are other ways to prepare them, but I did a sample microwaved and they came out pretty good. So I'm going to do it that way. And obviously this is a little bit labor intensive to make your own chips. But as I said, they are healthier because they'll have less starch, less oil, and uh, they won't have all those uh, extra ingredients, preservatives, and all the other stuff that they put in them. Let me get another layer going here. Okay, let me grab the stone here. And this is a Pampered Chef rectangle stone, and I am going to coat it with some oil, a light spraying of oil to keep the chips from sticking. And this is the Pampered Chef spritzer, so you get a lot less oil than you would otherwise. And I'm using the Pampered Chef basil infused olive oil. Okay, and I've only got two tablespoons in here. I'm hoping that's all I'm gonna need for the entire recipe, but I might need a little bit more, but that's a lot less than you would use when you're frying them, you know, the cow chip types, and they taste just as good. So I think this is a great way to go. Okay, so we'll line these up on here. And then we'll spray them with olive oil. on both sides. And I'm gonna put them in the microwave for about 10 minutes, because I've done a previous batch and that's about how long it took, but you'll wanna start off maybe at five minutes and go from there, depending on what type of surface you're cooking them on, etc. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put them in the microwave. And we'll be doing that with all the chips until they're uh, all cooked. And so while that's going, we can get some more of these uh, laid out to dry. And also I'll start on the 
balsamic glaze that's going to be one of the ingredients to this recipe. So let me get at least another set of chips drying while we're doing that. Now I've got some uh, balsamic vinegar in here and some brown sugar and we're going to go ahead and mix that and let the sugar dissolve. And I'm using the Pampered Chef sauce whisk that's got silicone coating on the end there so that it doesn't scratch your pans. And I also like the nice angle to it, it's very nice. I've got this going at medium heat and We'll let that reach a boil and then uh, we'll go ahead after that and we'll let it simmer for about 20 minutes. So we'll keep an eye on that. And here's the first batch of chips so you can see what they look like. We'll go ahead and transfer them to this bowl and then we'll get another batch going. You do want to be careful, the stone is hot. I have it right now on my uh, wood trivet, Pampered Chef wood trivet. Get some more going here. Sounds like that balsamic uh, drizzle might be ready. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. No worries on that timer. The stove automatically shuts off when the timer beeps. So I don't have to worry about anything burning. That's kind of nice. That olive oil really smells good. You could smell that basil. Now to check on the balsamic glaze. Well, it looks like our balsamic glaze is ready. So we'll go ahead and let that cool off for a little bit before we transfer it to the cruet. In the meantime, we can go ahead and get started on the blue cheese crumbles. We'll be adding a teaspoon of Herbs de Provence from Pampered Chef. And mix that up. Oh, that smells good. We're mixing this up in um, a Pampered Chef uh, prep bowl, which is really nice to have. These are uh, able to go in the microwave, in the dishwasher. You could freeze stuff in them, but they're very good prep bowls to use for mixing things. Okay, now the crumbles are ready, and then we'll be adding those later when all the chips are done. I'm getting ready to put in my last tray of potatoes, and I still have a little bit of oil left, so less than two tablespoons for two pounds of potatoes. That is pretty healthy. Let's go ahead and preheat the oven. And while that's preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the balsamic glaze to the crude. We're getting close to the finishing touches. Well, let's put everything together now. We're gonna add a teaspoon of Pampered Chef seasoning salt. You could add more if you like, but uh, since the cheese already has some salt in it, I don't see any need to add a whole bunch more salt. But we'll sprinkle this over the chips, mix them up really nice and well. And I heard the oven beep, so it's ready for us. Go ahead and start putting some of this on here. There's no need to do anything to this pan because it's already pre-seasoned. And it is in the cast iron line of Pepper Chef products. And we've got more than enough drizzle and that's okay because you can use this drizzle on a lot of other things. You can put it on flatbreads, pizzas, veggies, you name it. It's very good. It gets to be addictive after a while. Let's put another layer of chips 
over that. You see that the drizzle comes out pretty slow. That's because we thickened it up with uh, heating it for about 20 minutes or so, which is how you want it. You want it to be nice and thick like that. You don't want it to be real runny. And the last layer of chips. And this probably will serve about eight people or so, eight to 10 people. Let's go ahead and put this in the oven for about five minutes or so just to let the cheese warm up and melt a little bit. And here you have Chef Dr. Margie's Mediterranean Chips. And the description will have the product info and the recipes at the end of the video with nutrition info. To your health, and wealth. Be sure to check all my links below to contact me, subscribe, shop, and join my team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. From my kitchen and wine cooler to yours, I wish you a bon appetit to your health and wealth.